Well, we have lived through a perfect storm environment, of course, in the first half of uh, this year. And um, I would uh, certainly recommend to uh, jump on that uh, train, which uh, has left the station already. Um, but when we look at numbers like uh, 30,000, it might be uh, symbolic to some extent. But the key thing is the underlying dynamics uh, driving uh, risk assets. And of course, also the valuations within certain segments of the markets uh, by sectors and by geography. And of course, markets um, are set to advance because we have right now a very favorable alignment of key factors um, like relaxing geopolitics, um, a, uh, a synchronized uh, global upswing next year, including the US, the EU and, and, and China in the respective uh, regions. And of course, uh, historically low interest rates and inflation rates. And um, valuations are not a great timing tool, not at the top, not at the bottom of the market. Um, but it comes down to, uh, to play this um, uh, rotation in the market in a way that you favor economic sensitive uh, uh, sectors and, and companies which have been bettered uh, through this first half of the year. But yeah, it, it's very easy to make a case that the market has risen because of the liquidity generated to deal with the crisis so far. And I think we're talking in terms of $14 trillion is, is the number that I see thrown around here. And when you look at a chart that matches it to the Dow or other indices, you get a fairly close correlation between the liquidity and the rise in the markets. We also go into 2021 with historically high levels of corporate indebtedness and historically high levels of sovereign indebtedness. Will these debts not act as something of a drag on the ability of economies to hit higher growth rates? Well, I don't think so. Markets, of course, have risen this year because um, liquidity unlimited uh, by monetary policy, which has been the case since the GFC in 2008. But of course, the game changer this year was the fiscal compact. Um, even uh, the Germans uh, throw in uh, the towel, um, and that means something. So fiscal policy has been expensive across all Western economies, and of course, also in Asia, that has uh, driven risk assets. Now, of course, um, the proof will be real earnings and real growth. Um, so that means, of course, that markets are discounting mechanisms uh, and looking into 21, of course, growth rates have to, uh, to improve and uh, corporate earnings have to improve to justify current valuations. And I'm very positive uh, on those ones. Debt levels um, are not really relevant right now. Uh, the debt absorbing um, capacity of governments is anyway not an issue at this stage. For corporates, of course, and for SMEs in a particular, it has been very tough. And um, the next few months will also remain tough. Uh, but policymakers are, are well ahead of the curve and deal with these issues. And the interesting thing is, of course, that the economic uh, recovery has a W shape. The pandemic recovery has also W shape, but financial markets, of course, are very much in V shaped territory. But key to success will be really to play the rotation in the capital market.